Hello and welcome again. Today we are, we are going to see some cases in which everything seems perfect but uh, still the uh, objects are not colliding. So first in the documentation says that uh, one of the objects must have rigid body to collision to occur. So let's try without it and it's not going to work. But let's see. I have animated this sphere towards this uh, cube. So that they can collide. I have added a simple script add port to the sphere and it contains this. I have translated the transform. Okay, it's nothing much. So now if we add a rigid body to one of these objects, they must collide. So let's say we are adding a rigid body to this box. And we are not uh, checking this use gravity box because we don't want our box to fall down. Okay, so and it, and it doesn't uh, affect the collision. So let's see if collision occurs. And no, even if one of the object has a rigid body, collision is not occurring. Okay, now let's try adding rigid body on sphere instead of this box. Okay, we are removing the rigid body from this and we are adding it to the sphere. Okay. Now let's see. And yes, it occurred. And the reason behind that that Unity uses an optimization technique and uh, which allows rigid body to stop the calculation when it's uh, stable and it's not moving so if this uh, cube is uh, because this cube is not moving and we have attached rigid body on it unity stops the calculation for that and that's why the collision didn't occur and because this sphere is moving the rigid body calculation is on uh, going on in the physics engine so the collision was detected and to avoid this, uh, we have one option for that called uh, sleep threshold in edit project settings and physics. You will see sleep threshold, uh, threshold value to 0 0.005. That means if velocity of the rigid body goes down to 0 0.05, it will go to sleep. Means that will not work. Okay, so there is, uh, it will act as there is no rigid body on it. So if we change this threshold value to zero, that means no rigid body will ever go to the sleep. Now, even if we add rigid body to the box and remove the rigid body from sphere as it was before when collision didn't occur, now this should collide because we change the threshold value to zero. Okay, this occurred. Now, the conclusion is when you add rigid body to the object which is not moving, it will go to sleep and collision will not occur. So, best practice is to add rigid body to the object which is going to move while collision must be detected. Okay, so that's, that can be the problem. And the other, other case, uh, that everything is fine, you added rigid body to the uh, moving object, but still it is not colliding. And what's the issue? Let's see, we uh, add rigid body to the sphere. Okay. And accidentally we check is kinematic. According to the Unity documentation, if this object, uh, uh, sorry, this checkbox is selected, means that this rigid body will not be affected by physics calculation and can be only manipulated by its transform component. It is said in here, if enabled the object will not be driven by the physics engine and can only be manipulated by its transform. So you know, if we add rigid body on moving object and if this kinematic is selected then it will not collide.
so this is also can be your issue okay so things to check before uh, concluding is that uh, the collider must not have is trigger check because if we, is trigger is checked it is uh, never going to collide whatever you do if you add rigid body to moving object or not it act as a trigger trigger zone so this must be unchecked on both of the colliders one of the rigid uh, one of the object must have the rigid body and that object must be the one which is moving okay or if you want your uh, steady object to get collided and uh, there is no option that you can add rigid body to other object then you should change the threshold value to zero and the third thing is that uh, rigid body must not have is kinematic check unless you have some explicit uh, need to do that okay so this can be the